You sure about the priest? I'm sure. How about the curtain? What about it? It's your choice, Mr. Scott. Open or closed? What would you like? Closed. Then open the sucker up. Fine. Want to say anything? Do it. I can't imagine what it must be like, staring at a clock, knowing the exact moment. Adele Saunders thought she was going to work. She ended up dead. Biddy's misplaced. I'm tired of arguing, Jack. You know, I'm not feeling too well. Must be the flu. Yeah, the flu. Want to take the day? No, I've got Silverman. Cover? You sure? Ah, hell of a way to spend your day off. He just twitched, closed his eyes, case closed. What did you expect, a dozen archangels strumming their harps? Well, Mickey Scott's gonna have nothing to do with angels. Well, who knows, maybe somebody somewhere will learn something from this. Yeah, the 30 friends and neighbors that cheered when he ripped off Adele Saunders' skirt. It's time to see a little green here. All right, I pledge $10. No, oh, Ricky says yours is on the house, Lenny. Hey, after this morning, the world's a better place, huh? A club soda on the house. Your boss is a real philanthropist. <laughs> Another two cents playing for me, and the rest is for you, sweetheart. Hey, by the way, um, I get off at five hands. Six months I've been asking her out. Bupkis. You didn't kill the rapist murderer. To Detective Briscoe. Briscoe. Detective Briscoe. Hey, 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 cut it out. Oh, and he's just pissed off because he didn't get to shoot the SOB himself. Yeah, right. I'll take him. You got him. Come on, we're going for a walk. Easy, dude. That's detective, dude. Yeah, well, nice threads for a cop. Well, I get it. You're on the under the table plan. I tell you to shut up, you shut up, or I'm gonna rip that tongue detective. out of your throat. You're gonna shut up? Shut up! You wanna right, keep right, talking? Right, you wanna keep talking? Right, 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 He's gonna be using a slug on the subway. Shut up! Today's your day off, Detective Curtis. Take it. You're pretty smart for what, a sophomore? Excuse me, grad student. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, I'm just jealous. I used to love school. Right. Cramming for finals. 48 hours without sleep. Lunatic professors preaching about God knows what. Best time of my life. What happened? Bar market go to hell today? Something like that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Wall Street. I'm gonna let you take me to lunch. Oh, you're still a nut for tuna fish, huh? Yeah. Only no one makes it like you with the chopped up pickles. Mm. <laughs> Did you get that Father's Day card I sent you? Mm. Right, yeah. It's, uh, it's on the hall mirror. I thought I called it. Thank you. You know, you look great, sweetheart. Yeah. So you actually watched it? <sighs> yeah, well, we figured we should, you know. I can't get that girl out of my head. I mean, it was just a fender bender, right? She just happened to dent the wrong Camaro. Cat, you got to know, it's driving me crazy trying to figure out why you're here. Hey. I saw you on the tube. It's no big deal. Take another little piece of my heart and I'll be there. Damn right, just a bundle of surprises. Well, you know, I wanted to be the boss, but I wasn't from Jersey and I couldn't carry a tune. <laughs> Still cute. And married. So? Perfacci. 
Did Curtis say where he was going before he stormed out of here? He wasn't exactly in a sharing mood. Well, he calls in, his wife's looking for him. Why don't you call him on that damn cell phone he carries? She tried, he's not answering. I'm thinking about quitting. Oh, bravo, another disillusioned member of the bar. Take a ticket, Claire. There's a hell of a line ahead of you. Taking a life is wrong, period. Well, you can fool yourself, but you can't fool me. You didn't go up there out of obligation. You went up there to show off your sense of moral superiority. It's not superiority. It's conviction. And what happened this morning is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. And, and since when is, is conviction a character flaw? When it turns into self-congratulatory depression. You can quit the profession, Claire. You just can't quit the human race. What made you stop, anyway, drinking? You ask me who got me started. It's a much better story. I just assumed it was me. Oh, come on. I was seven years old when you stumbled out of my life. What's a seven-year-old going to think? <sighs> Boy, I wanted to wear the blues, walk a beat, carry a gun, be the toughest guy on the block with his big, thick hands. But no, he said, you, Jack, you are going to law school. You're a shyster? Get out. Race ipsa loquitur. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him the day I graduated. His chest was out to here. He hung my diploma in his den right above his bowling trophy. He bowled, too? He could do everything. He was a superman. Somebody said, I'd rather be a terrible warning to my children than a good example. You were funnier when you were drunk. I gotta go to work. I'll get you a cab. It's OK. You know, you're right. You are better when you find the people already dead. Why didn't you go up there today? It's not a part of my job. Why didn't I think of that? You know, Claire, if I thought I could get some kind of divine guidance by watching them run poison through that bum's veins, you can't take all the blame, counselor. I'm not. It just sticks in my throat. Routine's good. Find something you like. Don't screw with it. That's what he said. And if anybody messed it up, he had these big, thick hands. Sometimes my mother had to lock herself in the basement. Son of a bitch hitter. Come on. It's a number of crunchers like you need Keats for anyway. Detective Frisco. Counselor, out of all the gin joints in all the world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Good guys pulled through, bottom of the ninth. Give me a vodka straight up. She hates my guts. The weather lady? No, my kid. Her mother cheats around on me, and she hates my guts. Whoa, look at this. You've been drinking. That's what's causing this. Is this your kid? Uh, let's see. Do you hate my guts? I guess not. Look, why don't you get your coat, and I'll drive you home. So this morning really bummed you out. 
Do I look bummed out to you? You know, it wouldn't be so terrible. What's that? If you were my kid. I guess I should take that as a compliment. Hey, you're smart, you're pretty, you got a good job, and you don't hate my guts. Lenny, I doubt your daughter hates you. Oh, oh. Uh, you don't know. You don't know. 